Did you know you can record, edit, and produce entire podcast episodes right inside Canva? Yep, whether you're creating an audio-only podcast or a video podcast, Canva makes it super easy to put everything together. And once your podcast is ready, I'll show you how to share it on your website and even monetize it using MemberSpace. Let's get started. First up, creating your podcast episodes in Canva. You'll want to start by picking a podcast template. They have so many, uh, but I'm just going to search for podcast video to narrow it down a little bit. I'll find one that I like. And then once you pick your template, you'll go ahead and customize it to fit your brand. Change the colors, fonts, add your logo, really make it your own. Once it looks how you want, you have two options as far as adding your podcast content to the template. First, you can do an audio only podcast or a video podcast. Audio only is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a recording of your voice. You're not going to be showing a video of yourself talking through your podcast content. So the way that I would recommend setting this up is uploading a photo of yourself or your guest if you're interviewing someone in the podcast. Um, and then to add the voiceover, you'll go to uploads. And then if you're recording it right in Canva, go to record yourself. You'll turn off your camera and you'll run through all of your podcast content right then and there. It'll add a little circle in the corner of your template. And if you just want to go to layers and like send it all the way to the back so it's not visible, that's probably the best way to go about doing that. You can still hear the audio um, when you play your video, but you won't see anything. The second option to create a video podcast, you'll do the exact same thing. You'll go to um, uploads and then record yourself, but you'll leave your camera on. You'll talk through your podcast content um, and it'll add that same circle in the bottom corner, but it'll be a video of you doing your podcast. You can also resize that circle if you want it to be a full screen. If you want it to be a rectangle, you can do any of that as well. So once you've added your actual podcast content, you have the freedom to add background music, add your intro song, sound effects, um, even trim clips. You can do anything you want to do to edit your podcast right in Canva. And once it looks good and sounds good, we're ready to share it with listeners. Now that your podcast episode is ready, let's talk about getting it out into the world. You can upload the audio file to a platform like Spotify, but a lot of creators are choosing to host their podcasts on their own websites instead, and for good reason. When you host it yourself, you have full control over your content, you're not tied to a third-party platform, and you can even monetize it however you want. So that's what we're going to do. First, you'll need to download your podcast episode as an MP4 from Canva, and then head over to your website. I've set up a podcast page here where all of my episodes live laid out in a simple grid so visitors can scroll through and pick what they want to listen to. Now you can set yours up however works best for you, but I'll go ahead and upload the latest episode that we just created in Canva right here on the page. And that's it. Now your audience can watch or listen directly on your website. No extra apps needed. All right. So your podcast is up on your website, but what if you don't want to give away all of your episodes for free? Maybe you want to offer a members only podcast or charge a subscription fee for access. That's where member space comes in and setting this up is actually super simple. You'll just need to start by installing member space on your website, which only takes a few minutes and it works with any platform, whether you're using Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, whatever it is. Then you'll need to grab the URL of your podcast page and paste it into your member space dashboard. This will lock the page so the public cannot access it anymore. Next, you'll need to set up your pricing plan. So with MemberSpace, you can charge your podcast listeners a one-time fee, a reoccurring subscription, or even offer a free plan with access to limited episodes. Now, when someone tries to listen to your podcast, when they try to go to that, um, that webpage that we just created with the podcasts on them, they'll see a paywall asking them to subscribe before they can access your content. And if you want to get fancy, you can also create multiple pricing tiers. So maybe you have a free plan that gives access to a few episodes, and then you have a paid plan that unlocks your entire library. So whether you want to keep your podcast private, offer bonus content, or turn it into a full-blown membership, MemberSpace gives you the flexibility to do it however you want. And that's it. You now have a fully set up podcast, branded, hosted on your website, and even monetized if you want to charge for access. And don't forget, MemberSpace lets you do way more than just podcasts. You can sell online courses, templates, and other digital products too. If this video was helpful, make sure to hit subscribe for more tips and let me know in the comments if you're starting your own podcast. Good luck.